previously on Workshop Wednesday. One good thing about you know, grease and that, it might be a mongrel to move, but it's protected the metal a lot of the time. So. The hinges have been semi-repaired previously and they've been kind of welded on, so not done properly. See every hole's been oxy cut out now, elongated out. So is that is, that, is this an original one? Well, it's, it's an original one, but someone's obviously retrofitted it to, to suit this back. There is like an inspection plate, so this, which is fairly large, this plate on the side. So I'm thinking we can just unremo remove these bolts, take this cover off, and we should be able to see inside uh, this part of the gearbox, and we can, you know, we give us an idea of the condition of inside, yeah. Happy with that. Happy, yeah, really good. Yep. This week, Daryl started working on the hatches, but things don't seem to be lining up. Unfortunately, with our rant restoration, we've only got two right-hand doors. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, spare door and we're going to move the hinges over to the other side. If the punch leaves a dent in the steel, we should be able to drill it. That's okay, that made a nice dent, so we should be able to drill it nicely. Well, what we've also found out is on this original door, as you can see, the uh, spacings for the hinges are different. That's at 145 millimeters, and that's at 125 millimeters. But on our hull, the spacings are even. 110, 110. Well, that doesn't match that door because they're diff different spacing. So either they've modified them, uh, different models along the way. So what we're gonna do is we've got these holes here already and we, we're pretty sure this would be armor plate and we have to drill new holes in the door anyway. So we'll drill them to match the spacings that we have here. It's not ideal, but this was all we were able to source. And as always, it's better to use or modify original parts than to fabricate new ones where possible. Meanwhile, Jesse has been working hard punching out rivets. Last week I was working on the rear engine deck hatches. We had a bit of trouble getting them apart. We're trying to get the hot rivets out. So what I've had to do, I've had to actually cut the majority of them off and like blow them off with heat. It's extremely hard to actually get them through. The only way I've been able to get a uh, few of them out so far is by heating them up bright red and then holding a punch onto them, just hitting them as hard as I can. I've tried drilling them. I've tried doing everything else. I've tried heating them, quenching them, and just nothing's working. So just extreme amount of heat, heating them up cherry red, and then just hitting them out as hard as I can is the only thing that we can really do. Too strong. Too strong. Uh, I might heat it again. Jesse. 
Jesse Shaw has a lot of trust in Daryl. Now that all the rivets are out of the hatches, Jesse heads back onto the top deck. This has to come off so that Ryan has plenty of room to fit the engine when the time comes. <laughs> Safety first. Kind of made a tool, like a little slotted tool up so we can actually get it in there so it locks it in place and we can try turn it. I don't know how well it's going to go just because they look like they're seized in there pretty good. So we're going to probably try heat them up bright red from the inside and um, see if we can do one at a time. We do have a tool coming but we'll just try this first, see if it works. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All these nuts have been welded on. Yeah, m minus these four. I might even get the rattle gun while you're in here. I'll get the rattle gun and we'll see if we can undo them. We'll jump back out. Ah! Come off. Hey! Awesome. Ah! Ah! Those are the ones that have been changed before. Ah! That might be spinning. Ah! 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 Wrong way. <laughs> Oh, that's the right way, isn't it? No, no, no. Oh, it bent the tool. It's not the tool. Yeah. Yeah. The other one we've got is actually the head with the rattle on it. So, yeah. but it's four mil, so I've just got to file it down to three mil. Do you want another go of the other one? We can do. Yep. It looks like we might wait until the tool is ready. So to finish off the day, Jesse moves onto the door that was already bolted onto the other side of the tank. Okay, so we're working on the, the side entry door of our welded ramp. We're going to try heating it like we've, we've had a good reef on it already and there's a little bit of move but not much. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try heat these uh, knuckles up of the hinges and try expand them so we can try to get it to, to move a little bit. Once we know that we can get a little bit of movement in it, we'll, we'll jump on the inside and heat the inside nuts up, undo them and we'll take the door off. Not 100% not sure but see these holes don't line up. We're not 100% sure why they don't line up. We might need to maybe uh, move this hinge or maybe drill near holes or something. Because it's, it's not evenly spaced, hey? No, it's not evenly spaced, so we're not 100% sure yet. We'd, we just need to pull it off so we can put it on the bench and work on it off the vehicle, make it a little bit easier to work with. Nice. All right, let's do it. The entry doors will also need the viewport covers fitted. So now we've got the hinges working, that's lucky, but um, it's still a little bit firm so we'll have to probably put a little bit of oil in that once I've cooled down, yep. so that just frees the door up a little bit more. So what we'll do now is we'll, um, we'll try undo the nuts and try to take the door off. So yeah, and then I can try free the hinges up while it's on the bench. <laughs> oh. 
Right, try the top one. Which one are you doing? Okay. So, they might be a bit warm, Daryl. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just stopping them from flying across the workshop. Have you got a pet? top one? You want a punch? There we go. Yeah, I still can't work out why the hinges don't line up with these holes. It's early model or whatever, I don't know. Thank yeah. you. Better yeah. off pulling everything off anyway and having, yeah. having a look. Yeah. Well, they're, 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 those nuts are almost non-existent. Yeah. These nuts? So now we've got the hinges off and it's actually off the hole. Um, we've got to work out why the holes don't line up. So we might actually have to take this hinge off completely and re-drill some new holes so they line up. You can actually see where... So if you put this hinge back on, you can actually see where the holes were. So that's how far out they were. We're not 100% not sure why. So we'll have to drill some new holes either in the hull or we just move this hinge up to suit the holes in the, in the hull. <laughs> Getting there, day by day. So Darryl, what, what have you been working on today? Uh, working or struggling? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to do is get this 37mm turret mount out. It's, it pivots. But it's locked on a bearing here. The other bearing was already knocked out, so I think that in its travels over time, it's jammed up. So I've been trying everything to get it out. So I'm just about to lift this end up and see if the, the weight will move on the bearing one way and make it a bit easier. It's locked in like a, a semicircle, but not quite round. It should fall out, but for some reason, it's just jammed in there. I'll lift it from this end and see if it'll do anything. There could be nothing holding it, it should just fall out. In the world of tank uh, restoration, things don't always go to plan. Yeah, it's on a bearing, but it's a tapered bearing, so if I can get this cover out, so this, there should be nothing holding it. So, there's movement on, movement on most of that. Well, we've managed to get the outer race off, and now it's pushing on to this, uh, like a cups, a metal cup, which acts as a, uh, a seal for the grease and, and dirt. And just see it pushing up against the edge there, yeah, an eighth of an inch for the Americans. We'll go an eighth of an inch and three mil for us other people. Let's see what happens. Ah. Got him! Did you get that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I nearly did it. I want that outer end before I put this back down, you know what I mean? Right. The reason why we want it out, as you can see here, nice clean bearing. We'll tidy that up. It's a nice bearing, just got old grease in it. Now on the other side, the bearing was missing, so I have to heat it up and try and get this inner race off. So once I get that off, I can put a brand new bearing on and she'll swing nicely. And, uh, yeah, that's all we can ask for. Sorry, bitch. Two verticals. Oh, I just found the shifter, so I'll just I might get another one. And that's that's why they give you these. Little oh, is that a little uh, ring around it? Oh, that it's like a uh, spacer. Yeah. So that's for your center. Yep. Usually got a shaft. Usually got a. Yep. Uh, and, bit in the yeah. end of it. and they've just got no the ring there so it doesn't fall off. Yeah, that's yeah. all it's there for us to yeah. click it on and it stays yeah. on. Yeah. yeah.
The good thing about this is a lot of this stuff's been protected in the turret. The turret must be in the right way up. Okay. Oh, just, <laughs> just on there, hey. Beautiful, thank you. We'll just heat that up, give it a bit of a panel beat, flatten it out. You know, that'll come up, we'll, we'll make that nice. We've got the old bearing in a, uh, bearing out of it, should fit over that, and we'll use that as a bit of a mandrel or a, uh, a guide. Yep. So far, the mechanical side of things in the grant look great. Final drives, differential and gearbox are all in fantastic condition, but the external parts have been exposed to the elements for decades and have been painted over. They're seized up pretty badly, but this is nothing the boys can't handle. So we're going to remove the, the gear shifter linkages, free up the reverse lockout, we're going to remove the handbrake system and we're going to free that up as well. You'll push that button down, which will push this rod here down, and then there's a linkage here that will um, release so you can actually pull the selector shaft into reverse. It's just, they put that there so when you're changing through the gears, you can't accidentally go into reverse. Pretty straightforward, but then Ryan noticed something. So what, are, what are you contending with here? So uh, I was thinking about trying to take this whole linkage set up out, but We're going to have to pull this, this shaft here out, this one here, and that's if that'll knock out and I'll be able to get that nut off the back. It looks like the nut goes into the, onto this input shaft here, so like you'll get a couple of turns out of it and it will bottom out on that housing. This, this piece here is actually cast, um, this support here is cast into this housing. So that's that whole rear case of the gearbox. So it's not like we can just unbolt it and pull it out. We've actually got to remove that pin and then and then we can pull up the whole linkage out. So absolutely pull the hell out of it. Next year at Oz Armor Fest, all being well, this vehicle will be available to ride in. So we want it to be running reliably. We also want it to be as easy as possible to operate. It will take a little bit more time and some parts may not survive being disassembled, but the M product will be as near to perfect as we can possibly make it. We're gonna leave it for today, Ryan. Leave it for today, yeah. Pin's not budging. We'll uh, 
start again Monday morning. The way these things usually go, hey? Yeah, I think that bush is, if something happened on that second bush, it's it's starting to bind up, so that's why it's not pushing through. Like, really, that when you undo that uh, nut, that pin should just slide out because it's not an interference bit on that bush, so yeah. Something's, just something's old, right. just old, you know. Always, there's probably a bit of build up corrosion, that sort of stuff on the shaft. Yeah, Gall, bit of galling or something, so yeah. Yeah, yep, go from there. I reckon we'll get it straight away, so yeah, should be good. <laughs> the following week, the boys got it out. Unfortunately, I missed the money shot but we can still see the handle come apart. Done. Yeah, see how that's tight at the moment? Yeah, that should just be nice and free in there. So we'll, we'll clean all this up and all these surfaces here and um, that should, you know, it's going to make it operate a lot, a lot smoother once we finish all that. So that should unscrew there yeah, because there's nothing else I can hold it in. Oh, yep. a lot easier. Yeah, put it on vice along there. It's all so simple and practical, and that's what I'm starting to really admire about this tank. That's the, the lockout for reverse. As you push on that, the linkage pushes that down and that allows you to select reverse. Yep. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Just uh, a lot of work on Yeah, there. that's right. Yep. <laughs> just, just everything's rusted, you know. Everything's been sitting seized up. So, because this is all exposed outside. Yeah. Whereas we're lucky with the inside the box, it's had a little oil inside of it, no water. Yeah, no, yeah, up. that's right. Yep. Jess is back at work and dives straight into the rear deck. This morning I've uh, started heating and just cracking the rust on these ones, which it seems to be working. I had to make another tool. We had a tool coming, but it's taking too long to get here, so I've just made another tool out of some Visaloy plate. Holding the actual um, back deck down, 
So obviously it had a bit of a natural curve in it, so they've had to press it down and then push those bolts through. So we'll get up there and take him off now. Not really going down. With the rear deck off, Jess and Daryl can work on the much easier on the bench, and Ryan will have plenty of room to fit the engine in the coming months. That's all we have time for for now. Join us next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and I'll see you on the next one.